Hello and welcome back to the Silio City. Today is a nice day and we'll be giving our folks a little bit of downtown if you will. Well, if you have a good imagination because don't expect, expect skyscrapers here really. The downtown in this city is just a bunch of shops. For example, this shop which uh, is a Dollar Express uh, sort of a um, food and uh, uh, basic uh, customers stuff and drugs and so on and then there is this little ATM in the uh, middle of uh, of it uh, the uh, restaurant this is a laundromat and then a auto zone it's a car parts shop we will be adding some car repair shop uh, behind that and so on so um, let's put in some parking lots some uh, back alley roads and then here are some offices which is uh, uh, i glued them to the dollar express shop a little bit and uh, i imagine this is a sort of office for the uh, local lawyer the only one in town so if you're heading for divorce you probably gonna visit his office right here in the uh, along the main road we'll be decorating it later because uh, he's one of the guys who can uh, afford that not many of other shops can say that so uh, we will not uh, be decorating way too much just uh, some uh, some overgrown here and there uh, parking lot of course uh, I think um, this worked pretty well that I was able to kind of uh, uh, follow the corner of this road with the parking lot I I really like that and uh, in in the back and uh, between those uh, two uh, buildings uh, some another parking lot then I use this parking lot road to get some uh, parking along the road I think that worked well too um, I think I'll be using this uh, sort of a technique more in this uh, city we will see um, but I really like this sort of a parking uh, on the side of the road and then some Bekali here you know you need some uh, road some access to deliver the goods you know the front parking is for the customers here um, I use the parking that went with the building just created a uh, pavement road in front of it and then the back alley which will be a dirt road just like that um, then I, I was trying to create a uh, pavement here which I wanted to be a little bit above the height of the road but since this road isn't submerged it's a road from the highways menu um, I used this technique where I uh, outlined the pavement with the curb and then filled it with this uh, pavement surface which is uh, not so flat and um, I lot uh, I used a lot of these parts to create a shape I like I think it really worked well because I was able to achieve some custom shape of it and uh, yeah I think it's it's better than to just plopping some uh, regular path that goes with the game then just align it to the same height with movie tool um, hide some small inefficiencies which uh, will be seen just in a close-up view and seriously if there are some imperfections I'm fine with that I'm not trying to achieve perfection here it's all about the imperfections uh, this city built really uh, yeah, you can see it also in this parking lot where uh, every piece of asphalt is a different color for the 
uh, car stands, if I'm calc for the road, I will be uh, also adding a uh, lot of cracks and so on. But that's fine. Um, that's actually what I like about this city, that it doesn't need to be perfect. It actually should not be perfect. And that's what it is in real life. Um, different roads have different asphalt color because it was uh, built in a different time and was exposed to the weather and uh, so on. So I I actually very like this design where I use uh, different roads and uh, different textures for uh, various roads and 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 so on and even the dirt roads i i use a lot for example for this beckley i'm adding some some decals to give it really a cramped look and um that's yeah i like that then some some overgrown really we are not gonna be heavily detailing this part we will uh, let it <laughs> grow naturally add some trees and since there's this uh, lawyer office, I think that's uh, one of the <coughs> least guys in uh, this uh, town that can afford to spare some money. So um, I decided to throw in some some nice planter in front of his uh, shop with uh, some flowers. I think um, customers smile like that. So this is for. Uh, this part of the shops and uh, then the uh, other two buildings well the one is a laundromat so that the people have uh, somewhere to go with the uh, dirty clothes clearly um, I also uh, added some grill of sorts so some food is also available here in his downtown, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, then I uh, add this uh, repair shop. And use some some industrial buildings there as well to create some some unique looks. That's what I often do. That um, I take more than just one building, sort of uh, mesh them together with the move it tool and uh, this way I can create some unique looking buildings uh, and yet plop the same buildings uh, over and over. Um, I think this uh, is a good technique worth trying. Then I was uh, trying to uh, give a better feel to this Beckley Road which um, is really an um, old cramped road with a lot of cracks and uh, who cares really that's what I'm trying to uh, achieve with a lot of roads here that uh, they um, kind of a, a change to a dirt or gravel road um, exponentially and I went for the nice look for the front of uh, this shop that's why I added these uh, planters there. So this is what it is about this shop, you know, nice from the front, but uh, pretty ugly from the back. Um, now, uh, we'll be adding a lot here for the car parts and uh, scraps and junks. I, I, I imagine there was this, so this chain link uh, fence in uh, the past but it decayed quite a bit so the owner decided to use this uh, wooden pellets to fix it and uh, that's why it's part of the wood part of the chain link um, we'll be decorating it a lot We'll be adding some chunk parts, um, old scrapped cars, and so on a lot. Um, in this uh, part of a country <coughs> and in this part of a town, the uh, people run really old cars, you know, nothing new. They are 
rundown and so on. So if you if you have some breakdown, if you need the new new doors and so on, you don't really buy uh, <laughs> new parts. You just look for the scrapyard if you can salvage something from what's there. And um, anyway, this this car shop or service repair shop is run by a guy named Ed. He's pretty popular figure in the city. If you have uh, any trouble with your car, um, as it said, go for Ed, and uh, he will probably help you. He's a really nice guy, uh, well known, well liked, and not only he will fix your car, but uh, he will also be able to achieve some really uh, cost-efficient solution. That's what the people around here want. So if you have any trouble with your car, well, you know where to go. I, uh, as you can see, I'm adding a lot of decals to give it a unique look. Lots of props are used here and some uh, gravel parking stop for the trucks um, because the uh, junkyard is uh, really small so if you are coming with the truck you will need to park outside there now some uh, trees and uh, flowers for the front which will look nicely and uh, will be pretty much uh, done but we will be adding one more nice shop which um, we'll be getting to shortly all right let's yeah okay <laughs> some more decorations on the other side um really um, I think uh, this is pretty much the boulevard we have. Um, we will not be adding uh, much more shops to the uh, city here. I wanted to add one more thing and that's a sort of a, a cafe, a drive through cafe. But then I created this uh, offline of sorts. Um, and I imagine there will be some uh, small really shop that uh, in the morning when you are going to work you will just uh, stop by, grab your cafe and go and um, for the lunch you can grab a burger so I was looking for some small really building, commercial one um, I finally found one Although um, it's not a drive-through, but uh, you can park on the side of the road I created. It's a one-way road, and uh, yeah, I finally found this building, which I liked. But the poster on the front was that it was selling some sort of chairs or what, what not. I didn't want that, so I was uh, looking for some better sign, and then I finally think I found it. Go nuts, donuts! Hey, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So some parking lots, and we'll be pretty much done. Uh, I will do some some more decoration uh, of the camera, and then we will move on to uh, the live part of uh, this video. Um, which, in which I want to uh, show you a couple of things I uh, usually do once I'm finished with uh, the building new part of the city uh, because I think they are pretty important one is that I open this uh, traffic manager mode and I will look at the parking situation I want my sims to park at the parking spots I created and not on the sides of the back alley road and so on. So what I do is that I um, inhibit parking at any of uh, those streets. 
then I also look at the crossroads and possibly add some giveaway signs here and there but uh, for the small junctions and roads it's not really necessary because the traffic flow is really low so I decided not to do it uh, and uh, then um, let's switch and look at the other mod I use it's uh, called Relight and it uh, allows you to set uh, any time of the day you want even pause the day night cycle and so on I change the time to the night and add some lights to the places where there are no lights and I want them to be so I added light here for the cafe and then one more for one of the parking lots can select the various kind of lights that goes with the base game I selected the classic street lamp here in the end and uh, even added one for this parking lot for some reason the lamps that went with the custom parking lot didn't work but that's okay that's one of the um, imperfections within our city <laughs> I kind of sort of liked it actually and that's uh, pretty much it for today I will leave you with the cinematics yeah, if you like the progress then well hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next one have a good day